Hey everyone, what's up? How you doing? If you don't know by now, my name is Ellen Marie, aka Ellen, and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a review and demo on the African Prize Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. And this is what the consistency is looking like. It is a clear kind of slash white color. It's very slimy. It reminds me of flaxseed gel or aloe vera gel, whichever one that you see fit. But it's very slimy and a kind of thick but not watery consistency. So to start off, I'm showing you guys what my hair is looking like. And if you haven't seen my previous video on my protective style for the winter and me refreshing it, then I will link it above for you to see it. But this is what my hair is looking like after that, which is about three weeks later. My hair was itchy, stinky, dirty, getting lots of buildup. So I'm just going through it, okay? I'm going through it at this point. But we're about to fix that. But right now I'm just showing you guys what my hair is looking like. Now it doesn't feel too, too dry because I did moisturize it about three days before. But it's still dirty and I just need to wash this. Now my edges look good. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I did was section my hair into four sections. Now this is going to help me with manageability and to just work faster. Now the first section I'm going to go ahead and split that in to a sub section and this is going to help now depending on how coarse or thick your hair is then you can make smaller or bigger sections but for me i did four and then split them into subsections. so to start off with this section i'm going to take a good amount of product now it on the back of this the directions do say to start on dry hair so that's what i did and first i played with it yeah because who don't play with their stuff first but um yes i gathered a good amount and i'm just working on my hair not really raking it through yet but i'm gonna start pulling apart my hair to really slightly finger detangle not too much though so once i once my fingers feel like it's good to start raking through and unbreaking those tangles apart i will start to do that now it all depends on how your hair feels if your hair still feels dry add more product it's all up to you now um, I will say that I did try this product about a year ago but I tried it with water in the shower and I did not like the outcome of it I don't know what was going on but the water was not helping at all it kind of had a harsh feeling and it kind of suds up and was foaming a lot and I really didn't like that and it was hard to detangle with water which was kind of confusing but I did get it again and now I'm following the directions on the product so yes um I will say that about 30 to 45 seconds in after that I am good to go with the detangling but after i finger detangled i did go ahead and further detangle with my wide tooth comb just to get out any bigger knots that my fingers could not get at the time but um so far i am liking this product it works efficiently fast and it doesn't take me long to detangle but after doing all those steps i'm just going to twist my hair up and do this routine throughout my whole entire head
that I'm having a little jam session in my bathroom, a little concert going on. But I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys some of the ingredients in this product. So while I'm looking at it, it says that the first two ingredients are going to be water, aloe leaf extract, and then it goes on to glycerin and some type of chloride and then coconut fruit juice now those all sound good to me and they all sound very slippery um because everything is water it's, everything is mostly a liquid consistency now i know um a certain amount of people don't really like glycerin so high up in the ingredients list but since it is a rinse out thing then i think it is good to go and it works very well Now one thing I do really like about this product is the consistency. It has the slip, it has the water consistency slash gooey consistency and it's very easy to get through your hair without adding so much product. So I thought. <laughs> but no, I really do like this product. It doesn't have a strong, strong scent. I forgot to mention that um, earlier, but it doesn't really have a strong scent. So if you're into those light scents, then this is a go-to product. Now, I can't really describe the scent of it, so please don't ask. I really don't know. But I do really like this product for the slip, and it did not take me long. I want to say this whole process took me about, since my hair was so tangled up, took me about 50 50 minutes but if my hair was on a week basis then it probably would have took me about 20 to 30 minutes now i know y'all see this product making my curls pop okay now if this was some type of leave-in or something oh my gosh but it's just a rinse out pre-shampoo so i'm kind of sad about it but my curls are still popping up So I'm all done applying the pre-shampoo to my hair and overall I will say I really did like this product. Now like I said before, it took me about a good 15 minutes. Um, my hair feels nice and soft, you guys, it has a little shine to it and it feels really good. Um, the only con about this is that I used a lot of product now right here I'm showing you guys that I used about half of the container on my whole head now granted this is my hair for about three weeks that I haven't detangled and everything well I have detangled but three weeks of like a lot of shedding and build up so that does make sense but still I think I used a little bit more than I should have but then again I'm heavy and at the same time now this next clip is going to be me showing you guys my shed hair. Now granted I do have some on the floor, you know, some flyaways get out and then I have some in my comb and I also have some that were on my finger that might have just slipped off or got somewhere else. So this is the majority of it but I know I have a little bit more. But yes, you guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace and love you.